Hi everyone, I'm Matthias and today we will have a look at a new feature which was recently released to the Transcribus app, our publishing solution called Transcribus Sites. Now we are at the homepage of our Transcribus account and what you can see here is first of all the recently used documents but also the recently used collections. One of those collections is the publishing collection that we want to put into Transcribus sites. So first of all let's have a look at it. First I go to collections and as you can see here there is a collection called Transcribus sites publishing and Fleming that is the one that we prepared. If I click into it, I can see the one document that is the content of it. And if I click into the document, I can see all the pages that are in this document. This uh, green line up here basically shows you that we set the status uh, to done for each and every page uh, of this document. And this basically means we are ready to publish. Right. So how do we publish now? First of all, I can change from desk to sites by clicking on the button here in the top right corner. If I do this, I end up on this particular page and here I can either click on this button, create my first site or create new site if you already have some sites listed here. If I click on this, I end up in that dialog field and now I can give um, the Transcriber Sites instance a title. So for example, Fleming Diary. Uh, I can also customize the URL. So for example, Fleming Diary as well. And as you can see, uh, the URL down here has now changed. And then of course, down here, we have to select the collection that we want to publish. As I just showed you, uh, we called it Transcribus Sites Publishing and Fleming. This is the one that we want to publish. By simply clicking, I already connected the collection with Transcribus Sites. And now what's left to do is click on this button and then we can start editing. As you can see, our CMS is divided into two sections. Here on the left, you can do all the editing. And on the right, you basically see how these changes impact the looks of your Transcribus Sites instance when you're done. So for example, I can change the title to Research on Fleming Diary. And you can see the change right here on the right um, above the search bar. We can also add a description. I have one ready right here. And this changes basically the description under the search bar. And I can also upload an image, but please make sure to save beforehand because uploading an image needs refreshing. So if I now click on upload image, I can simply drag and drop an image of the actual diary right here. And if I click on submit, you should be able to see it in the CMS system on the right. And now let's have a look how we can navigate through all the pages that you can change in your Transcribus Sites instance. There are two ways to go. Either you can use the nav bar up here in the top right. So you can simply click on explore, click on search or click on about. And then you're basically in the uh, page that you want to work on. Or there is the other possibility of using the drop down here on the left. So where about is, uh, is written here, you can change to home, you can change to explore or you can change to search. Right, this is how you basically navigate your Transcriber Sites instance. And now let's jump to the About page. This is how it's done. And now we can, of course, do some work on this as well. We can edit again the heading. So, for example, hello from the research team. And then we have all these sections which we can change. Uh, as you can see, they have different formats. So it can be just text. It can be the image uh, on the right or the image on the left, or it could also just be an image. And you can basically just edit them by clicking here on edit. I can change the uh, section here uh, by simply saying uh, again, hello from the research team, for example. Uh, then I can say, okay, I just want to have the text and I want to have it centered. So this has now changed here on the right. Uh, and of course, I can also change the description again. And now what you can see here, we have uh, our text the way we want to have it. Of course, we can do some more edits, make it bold, make it italics, etc. pp. 
And what you see is that you have these additional blocks. Uh, and all these blocks can basically be changed as well by clicking on edit here. But if you just say, I want one block, that's all I need, then you can simply click on delete section. And now the one in the middle is gone. Good, let's upload an image. Let's take the diary again, drag and drop it here and simply click on submit. And there is one more addition that I want to share with you in the about section. Of course you can delete, but you can also add sections. And this is simply done by clicking on this button, then clicking on edit, do your changes, and then you have the additional section right here. We don't need this, so I will delete it again. And our about page is done. Well, we have already come quite a long way. Your website is already quite customized, which is great. But of course, you also want to see how the search itself looks and how the documents are shown to the users. Let's go. If you're now willing to have a look how your pages look in Transcriber sites, there are two possibilities to do so. First of all, you can use the Explore page and second, you can use the Search page. So. Let's click on the explore page first. What you can do here is explore and browse through your corpus. So what you can see here is the document that is in this collection. Of course, if there were more documents, you would see a list of them. You simply click on it and then you get an overview of all the pages included. If you now want to have the side-by-side -side view, you simply click on one of these pages. It takes a little bit of loading and then you see your document, the original and the transcript that you hopefully have done automatically with Transcribus. If you click into the lines, you always see also the highlights. So there's always this connection and you can always check where you are in the original document or in the transcript. The second way of looking at your results is using the search page. And uh, here, of course, you have a search bar. You can put in uh, a search term, Isabella, for example. And if I do so, I get all the search results right here. You always have a snippet of the original and you have the text that you get from the transcript, which is related to this snippet. So you can simply click on one of these results. And again, the side-by-side -side view is loading. And what you can see now additionally to the explore side-by-side -side view is basically that the search term Isabella is also highlighted in the transcript, but of course, also in the original down here and here as well. As you just saw, showing your documents and transcripts with transcriber sites is quite easily done. But you might be wondering what the tags that you added and the metadata that you put into transcribers are good for. Well, the metadata can be used for filtering, whereas the tags can either be shown in the side-by-side -side view or also can be browsed in the explore page. Here is how it's done. First, we have to go back to the explore page by clicking on this button. And now you can see here on the left that there is a toggle called browse tags. At the moment, you just see the documents right here. But if I click on this toggle, the tags appear. So I can simply click on them. And now I can see all the tags that are in my corpus. For example, I can click on person and then I find Marjorie, I find Isabella. And if I now click on one of these tags, uh, the side by side view is being opened and I can see Isabella here, my tag that I was looking for directly in the side by side view. So this is basically how you can enable and use tags. But of course, also the metadata that you have in your corpus can be used. For this, you just have to click on search. Uh, and now you can see here on the left that there are some filtering options. So a year filter or any other filter that is basically based on your metadata. So if I now look for Isabella again, I can simply click on show advanced filters. And as you can see, there is not much there. There is just a title filter here. But what I maybe want to have is a year filter. So I click here, select this one. And now you can see that here in this section, the year filter has appeared. And of course, it can be used on all the search results that you have gotten. And of course, from here, if you click on the result, you get straight into the side-by-side -side view and you see the search term highlighted. 
You might want to tweak your transcriber site's instance a little bit more. And of course, what you can do is use the settings for this by simply clicking on this button. You can, for example, change the project title, but what you mostly would do, I think, is add another language. So for example, we can add German, like this, and you also have to set translations then, of course. So for example, back in English is zurück in German, uh, and we simply have to do this for the whole list and then save it. And this way we get the translations into our Transcriber Sites instance. You also can add an imprint and please do so because of legal reasons uh, by simply writing it into this box. Uh, then the imprint is basically added to your Transcriber Sites instance and you shouldn't have any sort of problems. If you want to delete your Transcriber Sites instance, you can do here by clicking on this button down there. But there are also some more settings that you can use. For example, the theme. And this basically means that you can add a logo if you want to, and you can change the primary color. So for example, to forest green. And there is a little bit of a user management there as well. So as you can see, our learn at readcoop.eu account is here as an owner. I could also make it an editor instead or also remove. Um, but uh, normally what you use it for is to add other users. So for example, m.sorg at readcoop.eu, which is myself. Uh, I have a Transcribers account, so I can be added to this Transcribers Sites instance and then work on it as well. I simply have to click Save in the end, and then I'm done with all the settings. And then there is simply one more thing to do, and then you're done. Click on Want to Publish up here in the top right corner, and then you're ready to go. Well, that's it. You successfully published your first collection of documents with Transcriber Sites. Congratulations on that. Thanks for watching this video and please make sure to like and subscribe. And see you in the next video. Until then, happy publishing. See ya.